Sarah didn't know why she was called to the office. She'd been working in this jewelry store for a year now and had never had any problems. When the girl entered the office of the general manager, she immediately felt the hostile gaze of Mr. Sanders. I hope you'll tell me everything yourself, the man said sternly. I don't understand what you're talking about, Sarah said confusedly. You've already caused $300,000 worth of damage. You have sold a fake ring. Now you have to return this money to the store, Mr. Sanders shouted. But where will I get so much money? The girl asked with tears. It's not my problem. But do it quickly. Soon a new owner of our store will come here, and he will not handle you with kid gloves, the manager answered. The girl didn't know what to do. She didn't have that kind of money, as she was taking care of her sick old grandmother, who had been raising her since her parents died in an accident. Almost all of Sarah's money was spent on her treatment. Besides, she knew she was innocent. The girl tried to remember that day in every detail. It all started when a respectable man walked into their store. He first studied shop windows and then chose an expensive diamond ring. Then Thomas Black came in, who was the assistant manager. He told Sarah to complete the purchase, took the key and took out the same ill-fated ring. Then he put it in a box and gave it to the buyer. Sarah couldn't understand how it had happened that the ring had turned out to be fake. According to the rules of the store, Sarah was supposed to get the ring, but they were friends with Thomas, so she let him do it. Besides, recently the young man had started paying more and more attention to her and even helped buy medicine for her grandmother. But when there was a scandal with the ring, Thomas immediately ended all relations with her. As Sarah was sitting at the bus stop, a woman's voice pulled her out of her sad thoughts. Excuse me, your bag is open. Sarah immediately checked if the wallet was still inside, but it wasn't there. God, why do I deserve all this? Sarah exclaimed. With tears, the girl went home. She didn't even notice that she stepped on the road. And then Sarah heard the squeal of brakes and felt a strong push in the back. She woke up in the hospital. She tried to get up, but fell back onto the pillows. The doctors in the room told her not to get up. My grandmother, she must be worried, Sarah said. The nurse assured her that her grandmother had already been informed of what had happened. Turning her head, the girl found a huge bouquet of flowers by the bed. It's from the driver who hit you. He's very worried. He's been here since morning, the nurse said. Thomas was giving me the same roses, the girl thought. And then she suddenly remembered. A few days before the scandal, she saw exactly the same ring fall out of the pocket of a young man. Then a handsome man of 30 years old entered the door of the ward. Hello, Sarah. My name is Chris Parker. Please forgive me. I should have watched the road more carefully. A lot of things had happened that day, he said. Not only with you, Sarah answered him. The fact is that on that day my wife filed for divorce, the man said sadly. What happened to you? Sarah told him her story. Then Chris promised to help her sort out the situation, as well as pay for her grandmother's treatment, and left. The man visited the girl every day in the hospital. He brought her flowers and talked a lot about himself. Soon the young people realized that they felt deep sympathy for each other. When Sarah was discharged, she came to work. She was very worried about how the new owner would react to the situation with the fake ring. Imagine her surprise when she entered the office and saw Chris Parker there. The man winked at her and invited her to sit down. The senior manager and Thomas were also in his office. So Thomas, do you still insist that you're innocent? He asked the assistant manager. Yes, it's the seller's fault, Thomas said confidently. My people have found out that you gamble and owed a lot of money. After the accident with the ring, you miraculously paid off your debts, said Chris. So, it turns out that it was you who replaced the ring, so I'm going to report it to the police. Sarah felt great relief. Since then, her life had changed for the better, and soon Chris proposed to her.